Even amongst a lot of black people, being really dark is itself not quite valued. And this is all because whiteness is still the privileged position to occupy. I didn't grow up in a family that was interested in art, per se, you know, you know for, my, for my father's entire life, until I had an exhibition at a gallery, he'd never set foot in a museum. I sat about, in, in a lot of ways, trying to be an old master, you know, sort of following the model that Leonardo da Vinci set, and then how to begin to sort of situate a black figure in this sort of narrative that had the same kind of power that a picture like Leonardo da Vinci would have made, or like Raphael would have made, or later on how that Manet would have made. In the museums and places, the black subject was never the central subject of a picture. They were always at the margins, always peripheral to the, re to the, to the central narrative of a story. And so that was something that had a, a, a profound impact on me. And I tried to figure out a way to bring that subject to the center. And I've read that you took a conscious decision at 14 not to paint any white people. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, I did because they're, 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 they are already quite enough. <laughs> And, the, and the, the truth is that the, the white population is pretty good at projecting image of its ideal self into the world. So we don't, I don't need to uh, reinforce that, really. Your characters, your people, they're very black. Mm -hmm. That's where the maximum amount of power in the image resides. It resides at that extreme, you know. It's a way of recouping the power and the, and, and, and the beauty that can exist within blackness, even at that extreme. I mean, they, I guess obviously when people see it, that, that pearl earring hanging from her ear sort of immediately calls up uh, the image of the Vermeer painting of the girl with the pearl earring. It's fairly rare, and, and in, in the media, almost really recent, that you start to see the image of a really dark-skinned black woman and a black woman that doesn't have long, straight hair. I mean, you talk about putting black people in the picture. There is an mm -hmm. argument, of course, you have a black president who is central in the picture now. Mm -hmm. there, there are a lot of things you can say about what it means, uh, symbolically, to have a black president. It means that you've sort of crossed the one threshold, at least that, that there's a generation of young people who have experienced the presence of a black person in the position of power, uh, so that they, they, it's not the reality that they can no longer imagine that as a possibility. Do you think President Obama, Barack Obama would be president, were he a very black African American? Uh, probably not, probably not. The fact that he had a white mother and was raised by his white grandparents, I mean, that means something. I mean, and it matters to people who, who could accept him as, as the president. I mean, because there is, a, there is a question of whether one is black or two, one is too black, you know, or not black enough. I mean, there are all of these kind of questions that people are, are, are negotiating. How, as a, as a poor black person with no power, very little money, what do you do? I mean, I was a poor black person with no money for, for a time, too. But I had something that was really valuable that nobody could take from me. I had knowledge, and then I had skills. And I made sure I knew how things worked. I mean, I see people who, who, who are in their house, will sit, there, sit in the house, with a broken window with a piece of newspaper stuck in the hole, as opposed to going to the hardware store and paying $3 for a piece of glass and replacing the glass. That's the difference. So if you have a population of people who think they don't have the capacity to do anything, that's what they will do. The world is not fair. It's not going to be fair. So in a world that's not fair, you better get out and do some, and, and, and take charge of what you want in the world. So do you think not enough black Americans are doing that? I don't think not, not enough because we've been, we've been conditioned to expect that somebody else is supposed to provide. Mm -hmm.